What you can find in the middle of a California desert is amazing. 1,200 acres of names spelled out with rock. Hi, I'm Don with Cowboy Biker Adventures. Come along with me to the Valley of the Names as I explain the where, what, why, and how to see this for yourself. Along with me, I have my friends Earl and Bonnie and Chuck. You won't want to miss this. It was really more like Chuck and myself was with Bonnie and Earl since Earl drove. We came out here in a 4x4 F Ford 250. I highly recommend you don't come out here in a car. And ideally you would come out here with a high clearance four wheel drive Jeep or side by side or dirt bike. Because even though Earl's pickup had a lot of clearance, once we got out here, we did have to turn around because we was afraid we would hide side once we were into the names, which was okay. There's no way I could show you 1,200 acres of names. The video would probably be hours long. Oh, by the way, I did see people boondocking not far from here on the way here. Keep in mind the road here is very washboard. At least it was the day we came, which was February 26, 2021. Be sure to stick around to after credits for bonus video. Also, I will show you a map how to get here or where it's located. I will show you bonus video of next week's episode, a couple scenes from that, and I will remind you how to get in the drawing for a free tablet from my Christmas in July video, which was last week's video. Now, before I get into the history of this Valley of the Names, the what, the why, and the how. I was unsuccessful in my research to find out what the mountain ranges were to the east and also to the west of this valley. If you know, please leave a comment below so I will know and others will know. Also, I have another request or question. I would like your feedback and opinion on background music. Do you like the background music that I put on my video? Videos. Do you like the background music to have lyrics or would you prefer the background music just to be instrumentals? Please let me know in the comments below because your opinion is important to me. Next, let's get into the history of this valley. And by the way, I'll put a link below on the show more of a web page that talks about this valley of the names. It all started during World War II when soldiers were training in the desert north of Yuma, Arizona. They began decorating a site they called Graffiti Mesa, using rocks to write out the names in the clay. The tradition continued on after the war and the graffiti area grew and grew. Today over 1,200 acres of land are decorated with signatures, messages, dates, initials, and designs. The mesa known as the Valley of the Names is made up of hard packed clay and the earliest names are arranged using black lava rocks that stand in sharp contrast. The land is barren for miles around which means rock must be brought in from the outer lion desert. If you have a message or a name that begs to be written in the desert, be forewarned. It requires a 4x4 vehicle to access the area. Once there, it's possible to drive down, around, and through the hills and valleys covered by this unique rock art. And there's a lot of side-by-side -side riding trails. Make sure to bring your own rocks. It is located north of I-8 and north of Winter Haven. See the map after the credits. Now let me stop talking and give you a moment or two to read some of these messages and names that's written out here in the Valley of the Names.
I want to remind you to stick around to After the Credits, which will be coming up here soon, for a bonus video. First up will be the map to the Valley of the Names. Then I'll show you a couple clips from next week's video where I go to Mexico. And last but not least, I will show you or tell you how to enter a drawing for a free tablet that I'm giving away. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. That really helps my channel. And please consider subscribing. That also helps the channel. And if you also ring that little bell, that will give you notifications when I come out with a new video. So until next time, have a good one. Thank you for sticking around after credits for bonus video first up is the map that i promised you to help you find the valley of the names you also can just google it i will also put a link below on the show more for the information and history of this area which also has a map on it next is a couple scenes from where i visited mexico right across the border from california which is a tourist town called Los Alagones, which is a Spanish name, which is a good town to visit. They have a few dentists. On this board, they show 243 dentists that's listed in their phone numbers and their location on this map. Last but not least, how do you get into the drawing for the free 10-inch Android 10 tablet with a value of about $125 on Amazon, which by the way is a great tablet. I own two of them and my sister owns one. Well, you must go and watch my episode 63, which is Christmas in July, and it'll tell you what comment to make to get into the drawing of the free tablet. I do wish everybody luck, and until next time, have a good one.